This video is meant to serve as a reference for signing up for Clara.io. Clara is a cloud-based application that works with a PC, a Mac, or a Chromebook. I have a series of tutorials that will follow along in a playlist and use this as a reference just to get started. I hope you enjoy the projects. So let's take a look at the application Clara.io. Clara is a cloud-based application that can work on a PC, a Mac, a Chromebook, um, and it's, it's a pretty versatile tool. When you go to Clara.io, you'll be greeted with this page that has a bunch of information uh, about the application, and then it's going to ask you to, uh, to sign up uh, to start creating. So you'll have to pick a username, put your email address in there, and then choose a password. Once you click Start Creating, you'll be greeted with this page and then it, it basically goes over the different plans that, that you can choose from if you decide that you want to continue working with Clara.io um, after using it for a while it, it lays out uh, monthly payment payment plans for our purpose is just to to kind of go through this uh, we'll start with the, the free and basic and then you just go in and click start editing when you sign into Clara.io, you'll be greeted with this page. This is kind of like your, your home page. All of your documents will be housed down here in this area. Um, there's a bunch of quick reference links up here, getting started to create a new scene, uploading models. There are video tu tutorials on the basics of, of using Clara, uh, modeling, animation, uh, so on and so forth. There's user guides you can read through as well. And then you can go in and adjust how this, uh, this screen's set up by sorting um, different projects that you have with this drop down, uh, the document type, or you can change your, your list um, into a, a grid if you so choose. You can also click the invite friends button if you want to collaborate on projects with, uh, with other people. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the library. So again, this is your documents. This is kind of like a, a home page to get started with to start creating scenes. But if we click library, it will take you to a 3D model library that's set up that has a, a bunch of models. There's over a, a quarter million models here. So you can do a ton of things with these models. They're open source, free for you to use. You can download them, 3D print them. You can uh, put those into your projects just as, as assets that you can manipulate, um, work with them as animations. You can take some of these, uh, these figures that are in T-poses and rig those in other applications. So there's a lot of possibilities with this, uh, this library here. Uh, you can either do a, a 3D model search or you can click down through um, these these quick searches here uh, for for general things. Let's go ahead and go back to the document screen and just get started with uh, a new scene to try to get kind of acclimated to uh, to the rest of Clara. So I'm going to go ahead and click new scene. I'm going to click create empty scene, or you can go in and select a scene that's already set up or one of the uh, the models from the the model library. Th those will show up over here obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and create empty scene. I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to go ahead and select a gallery visible in a library and profile because I'm not going to collaborate with anybody at this point. Go ahead and click create and the interface will load for your first scene. Um, so over here on the left hand side is where all of your objects and materials um, and all of the things that you're using will be housed. When you want to make adjustments, this is like an attribute manager over here on the right hand side um, where you'll, you'll go in and adjust materials and make adjustments to all of the assets that are listed over here on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, there are different tabs up here at the, the top of this. As I click down through those, you can see that the layout will change. I'm just going to go ahead and click on General. Um, and then you see the viewport here is broken up into the perspective view and a couple other views um, that you can use while modeling or, or working with um, your projects. 
to get started, let's go ahead and just drop down a, a cube. There are primitives listed up here or shown up here um, above the viewport. I'm just going to click on this box and it shows up in the viewport and you can go ahead and start manipulating it in space right away just to start acclimating yourself uh, with with Clara and the different things that it does. But before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and click this little uh, this little icon here and bring this into uh, to full screen view here. Now, so I've got a box in space. I'm ready to uh, to manipulate it. Over here on the right hand side where your uh, your attribute manager is, there are properties, material, history, so on and so forth. These tabs you can use to uh, manipulate your scene. And there's also this little help menu and this will be um, of great advantage if you're just getting started with Clara because there is a ton of things that, that you can do with it. Um, this little help menu, whatever you're working with in the screen, that help menu um, will allow you to find out a little bit more about what it is you're, you're working with. So as you read down through this, this, uh, this box that dropped down, it's a polygon primitive, i.e. mesh, um, it's a collect collection of vertices, so on and so forth. Um, and it will answer a lot of the questions that you might have uh, while you're working with whatever it is you're working with. Up on the, uh, the middle part of your, uh, your viewport are lights. And it, as you hover over all of these uh, icons, it basically will tell you what it is you're working with. So if I want directional light or an area light, I just go ahead and click it and it will show up in the viewport. Um, it's already selected and as you can see as I move it around my cube up and down, it's uh, adding some illumination to, to the scene itself. Um, this is a null and we'll be using that later on with our character design and animation with the FBX files. Um, models, annotations, and then bones, which are uh, basically like skeletons that you can uh, use to, to rig models. O over here are um, different types of materials that, that you can add to shapes. So I'm going to create a physical material. I'll just go, just go ahead and click on this box, create a material, and it shows up automatically on whatever I had selected over here in the, the objects manager. Um, so I'm going to click on this material tab and, and show you what that material looks like. So for the color, if I click this little area, I can actually change the color just by clicking around in these areas here. Um, and then there's a, a ton of other adjustments that I, I can make to that material itself. But just to kind of get started and show you kind of where things are and, and how they work. Uh, that's a, a basic overview. Um, for specific projects, we'll be getting into uh, a ton of different aspects um, of Clara. So if you're, uh, you're interested, go ahead and start clicking through those as, as they're posted in, in YouTube. Once you're finished working with whatever it is you're working with, um, on any given project, you can just go ahead and click Clara.io and it will take you right back to um, your document screen um, to continue.